Don't know about those. Thanks again for tuning in to yet another video from us coming at you live from the West Coast yet again out here in beautiful San Jose, California. Another blue sky, not a cloud in sight. Man, Cali, baby, what's up? Anyways, just wanted to give you guys a uh, a follow up. It's been a while since I've done one of these follow up uh, v uh, reviews. It's been a while. Haven't really added a lot to the bike other than the suspension, the seat, and the. Uh, the SNS Stealth Air Stinger. Is that's what it's called? I believe that's what it's called. So, anyways, it's just a follow up 1,000 miles. I mean, it's over 1,000 miles, but in general, it's been a while now. Uh, yeah, as you can see, sorry, as you can see, all the uh, the oil, the red oil, has now uh, been oxidized. I guess, is, is, or it's been, or it's evaporated, or it's suck, or it's seeped into the into the filter i don't know as you can see there's it's no longer red right it's lost its color now it's a it's that uh black that uh dark gray looking air filter now you don't have to recharge this for another what forty thousand miles thirty thousand miles i believe that's what it's recommended for so you can run it like this it's just fine um yeah i mean sometimes i get in my comments when i had the trask air filter people were wondering hey how did you change the color of your air filter and it's just I, you know, I leave it in the comments, but I guess a lot of people just don't know that red color. It's just the oil that they put into the filter, and it helps protect uh, the uh, your your engine. Basically, it, it catches debris and it, you know, those minor particles and stuff like that. So that's why you don't see uh, that red anymore. It's just it oxidizes and uh, it turns into it turns gray. And like I said, you could you could uh, recharge it. They sell it. K and N sells a kit. You could go red or you could go black. A lot of you guys don't like the red, so you guys could get the red recharge kit and charge it up. It's about 20 bucks, I believe. Anyways, getting on with the uh, the air breather. It's a great air breather. It looks it looks real good. It's sexy. It's got that classic design, as you guys can see. It's got a nice, good finish. The only reason why it's all scuffed here is because of my uh, my uh, bike cover. So I don't cover up this air breather. I do cover up my fairing and as you can see there's no scuff marks i don't know how this happened but there's no scuff marks on the on the frame so if i wanted to i guess i could use the rain sock or i could use a little microfiber cloth to protect it but i haven't done that i don't know maybe i'll start doing that because i just kind of really noticed it's really scuffed but uh anyways uh yeah man it's a, it's a great air breather as you can see i have an external an external air breather for the uh for the vents for the exhaust uh, air ports, uh, I'm using the stock air bolts, air breather bolts. Those are the stock ones from Harley Davidson with your 114. In case you guys were wondering, you don't have to drill into this. I have a whole video on how to install this and you know how not to <laughs> completely destroy your air breather. You don't have to put in those little ports. You don't have to drill into your into your. Uh, I don't even know what those things are called. The inside of the backing plate of your air breather, the little ports that shoot into your throttle body. You don't have to clog those up. If you guys seen Blockhead, Blockhead's video, they did all of that. They drilled into it. You don't have to do that. Look at right here. See, there's no drilling. The oil comes straight out through this bolt and it goes into my catch can or my air breather filtered right down over there. So you don't have to do that. Anyways, that's what that is. Uh, you could do you can leave this pretty much stock you could use it I mean if you want to be EPA friendly then you could just use the kit that they offer you you don't have to do this of course this is it you know this is an extra 40 bucks and if you do it the blockhead method vent it back into your trans cover then of course it's gonna cost you less uh, but yeah I mean it's great it performs a lot better than the 114 the ventilator the one that comes with the with your stock Harley Davidson your soft tail 114 it performs better I mean if there's more surface area as you can see you have all of this all of the bottom and then you have this little uh, additional um, you know surface area because it's a stinger so there's more airflow somebody mentioned in another video now all you have to do is just switch, switch your uh, your air your air filter, the actual air filter inside the air breather on the 114. Switch that out to a high flow one, and it should perform a lot better. They were just saying that the one that comes with your 114 is a is a paper paper filter, and this one is uh, is a, is a high flow. 
you know the small little details i don't know i never did that on my ventilator the 114 i didn't do that but maybe even just doing that you probably get as much performance as you get out of the sns because i could definitely feel the difference uh between the 114 and this aftermarket i definitely i'm telling you guys you can feel it right here on the butt dyno you can feel it right there it is a noticeable difference and it's just more responsive it feels a lot more meaner around two to three thousand rpm it just feels amazing it feels better so it could possibly be the whole stage one kit but uh before i've already mentioned this but before i, I changed my air breather i didn't notice much of a difference from the tuner and i didn't notice much of a difference from the from the pipe but once i switched over to an aftermarket that's when i noticed a difference uh, it was yeah it was a difference of night and day when it comes to that so if you guys are wondering hey is it worth it i think it's worth it it looks really nice you know that's a good looking air breather you know it's it's a classic design sns has been around for many 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 years decades so it's just i guess it's just a homage and it you know goes with the overall bike i also have the trask uh the trask and this they feel identical it's just that this has more leg clearance this was not rubbing up against my shin as much as the uh the trask so here i'll just put my leg down here and you can see it right there all right there's plenty of room i'm five seven so this might be different but i i think it's pretty much still the same for anybody you know a lot of the leg clearance it's not up against my my leg unless i'm really squeezing as i'm really hugging the uh, the tank then that's where it starts to hit right there so if you're worried about leg clearance then just stick with your ventilator and that's the uh that's the most low profile air breather you could get the trask that does hit my shin but like i said in that video you could actually flip it upside down and then moves the, uh, the air breather about a half an inch to an inch forward towards the front of the bike so this is just my 1000 mile checkup you know for 300 and something dollars and typically you see them on sale so i mean you could you could probably find one for about you know 300 bucks and if you really wanted to save the money then you could get uh the other ones they they, they sell them in in stages like they're not in stages but they sell them in parts you don't have to buy the full air cleaner you could just buy the filter itself and then run that and that'll be fine uh, you could also get the regular mini teardrop like i said you, you could buy these in parts different covers you don't have to spend the full 300 and some on dollars so i mean there's a lot of options out there so anyways i'm just out here gonna enjoy the, the rest of the day I, I got my camera back so i'm gonna get some shots probably up there but uh, when i go up there the security guy kind of hounds me and you know tells me how it's private property so anyways go ahead and leave your comments down below let me know what you guys think there's some pretty cool air breathers out there but i think the trask and the sns is by far my, my favorite uh so, you know by for the price for the performance you have to go with this one sns um air breather they're amazing they're great they look real good on the uh on the air on the on the v twin i mean man look at that i'll show you guys some images i've been taking pictures of this thing all all all, all day so you guys just stay out there stay safe don't believe everything you read life's a risk get out there and ride later <laughs>